Hello dear students, uh, <clears throat> in the previous video we discussed the first law of uh, chemical combination and now we are discussing about the second law of uh, chemical combination that is law of constant proportions which was given by Joseph Proust. He was a scientist and he gave the second law that is known as law of constant proportions. The statement is that the law states that in a chemical compound the elements are always present in a definite proportion by mass. It is the important statement. In a chemical compound, the elements are always present in a definite proportion by mass. What does it mean? Or you can say irrespective of the source. Irrespective, irrespective of source. Source of element. Element. For example, water. H2O. He, the water is a chemical compound chemical compound and the elements present in water are hydrogen and oxygen there are two hydrogen elements in water and one oxygen element atom in water in pure water the ratio of mass of hydrogen the mass of hydrogen to the mass of oxygen is always one ratio 8 or 1 is to 8 irrespective of the source of water. What does it mean? For example, uh, water H2O having two hydrogen, hydrogen and hydrogen and one oxygen. These two hydrogen and oxygen, if you destroy the mass of water molecule, this mass of water molecule, we always uh, reach to the conclusion that the ratio of hydrogen, 2 grams of hydrogen is 1 and oxygen is 8, depending upon its mass. The mass number of, mass number of hydrogen is, 1 and mass number of mass number of uh, oxygen is 16 mass number that is in case of water two hydrogen are there hydrogen one having one this mass and hydrogen another having one mass that means hydrogen h2 having mass of 2 because two hydrogens are in the formula and O oxygen having oxygen is single atom having 16 that means actual ratio is 2 is to 16 and you will cut two ones or two and two eights are 16 that is one ratio 8 always in any uh, compound of water H2O where you will take it either you will take the water from the uh, well stream ocean anywhere you can take the water in every source the proportion of the elements of water would be 1 ratio 8 for example if you have 9 grams of water, if we have 9 grams of water and we will split the water, we will split the water and we will split the water and it will split 1 gram of hydrogen and 8 grams of oxygen would be there. 8 grams of oxygen. That comprises 9 grams of water 9 9 grams of water that means every 8 gram of oxygen combines with 1 gram of hydrogen to form water 
यूरी एट ग्राम ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन कंबाइन विद वन ग्राम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन टू फॉर्म वाटर टू फॉर्म वाटर इफ आई विल गिव ए क्वेश्चन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वट विल हैपन इफ थ्री ग्राम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन कंबाइन विद एट ग्राम ऑफ ऑक्सीजन वॉट विल हैपन वट वुड बी यूर आंसर बिकॉज यू हैव लर्न दैट एवरी एट ग्राम ऑफ ऑक्सीजन विल कंबाइन विद वन ग्राम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन देन दे विल फॉर्म द वॉटर सेम सिमिलर इज द केस विद दैम दैट मीन इज अमंग द थ्री ग्राम इज ऑफ हाइड्रोजन ऑनली वन ग्राम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन विल कंबाइन विद एट ग्राम ऑफ ऑक्सीजन टू फॉर्म वाटर एंड द रेस्ट टू ग्राम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन विल रिमेन एज सच दे विल रिमेन अन रेक्ट दे विल नॉट रिएक्ट विद दैट बिकॉज ऑल द एट ग्राम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आर कंबाइन विद द वन ग्राम ऑफ दिस हाइड्रोजन इट वॉज रिगार्डिंग द सेकेंड लॉ दैट मीन लॉ ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट प्रपोर्शन हेयर द क्वेश्चन आर लाइक दिस हाउ मनी सेम इज द केस विद फॉर एग्जाम्पल एन एच थ्री अमोनिया देर आर द मास नंबर ऑफ नाइट्रोजन इज फोर्टीन एंड दैट मीन इज फोर्टी द रेशो ऑफ अमोनिया द रेशो इन अमोनिया ऑफ नाइट्रोजन एंड हाइड्रोजन इज नाइट्रोजन इज फोर्टीन एंड हाइड्रोजन आर थ्री दैट मीन इज थ्री दैट मीन इज फोर्टीन रेशो थ्री ऑलवेज द फोर्टीन ग्रैम्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन विल रिएक्ट विद द थ्री ग्रैम्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन टू फॉर्म द अमोनिया to form the ammonia that means ni- nitrogen require 14 grams and hydrogen require 3 grams to uh, react and form the ammonia it was about the second law of constant proportion now uh, the another sub topic is there dalton the atomic theory dalton john dalton was the scientist uh, who described the atom and he postulated some statements regarding the atom and that theory is known as atomic theory or you can say dalton dalton the atomic theory which was given in 1803 or 1808 sometime some say 1808 there are five postulates in this dalton the atomic theory uh, through which you can uh uh you can uh, see all these proper law of chemical combinations uh through his these uh, uh postulates we can infer the chemical law of combinations also number 1 is matter consists of indivisible particles known as atoms that means every matter consists of small particles known as atoms next is all of all atoms of a given chemical element have same mass and same other properties for example hydrogen hydrogen in water h2o and hydrogen in ammonia nh3 that means there are hydrogen is same here also and hydrogen is same here also though these are present the hydrogen is present in different compounds but they have same mass and same other properties hydrogen is having same mass in other uh, these compounds and uh, this pro- other properties all atoms of a given chemical element have same mass and same other properties next is different chemical elements have different kinds of atoms and have different masses for example uh, different kinds of atoms h2o it is a different kind of atom uh, compound CO2 it is a different kind of atom uh, NH3 it is a different kind of atom they have in NH3 there are nitrogen and hydrogen in carbon dioxide there there are carbon and oxygen in water there are hydrogen and oxygen that means different compounds chemical have different chemical elements or you can say different chemical compounds can have same elements also for example carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide but the proportion is different 
that means different chemical elements have different kinds of atoms and have different mass uh, the chemical elements in compounds they can be very different or they can be similar atoms are uh, undestructible that means we cannot destruct atoms we cannot divide atoms again and retain their identity in chemical reaction for example h2 plus o gives h2o that means when the chemical reaction occurs the atoms they are not destructed they are not destroyed in chemical reaction and retain their identity in in hydrogen here in a separate hydrogen i2 hydrogen is like that which is like it is present in water h2 or like it is present in nh3 that means they are they retain their identity they do do not lose their identity next is the formation of a compound from elements occur through the combination of atoms of unlike elements in a small whole number ratio that means these uh, different uh, elements for example nitrogen and hydrogen they combine in a small whole number ratio that means whole number ratio means nitrogen is 1 and hydrogen is 3 it is the whole number ratio water hydrogen are 2 and oxygen is 1 it is the, that means in small whole number ratio the formation of a compound from elements occur through the combination of atoms of unlike elements in a small whole number ratio that means different combined different atoms combine in a small whole number ratio to form the compounds there are some uh, these uh, uh, you can say demerits of this dalton of the atomic theory which lead to the development of another atomic theories which we have yet to describe uh, it was all about the dalton of the atomic theory and its postulates thank you